Hey, what's going on guys? Food Less is back and today I've got a special treat. It's sweet and savory, salty and crunchy. It's maple and pecans. It's chicken and waffles. Stick around, I'll show you how. All right, let's make chicken and waffles. Now there's a lot of uncertainties about where this dish originated. I'm not even gonna touch it. All I'm gonna say is this is how we make it in Food Less Kitchen. Now what I really love about this dish is all the different flavors. You've got the salty crunchiness of the buttermilk fried chicken, the sweetness of the maple syrup, and we're gonna spice ours up just a little bit. And then you've got that light airiness of the waffle. We're gonna make our waffle batter, we're gonna dredge and fry our chicken, we're gonna make a cayenne maple syrup and a honey butter. This is just gonna be a fun dish and I can't wait. Let's get started. Now you can use a pre-made waffle mix out of a box or you can make it from scratch. We are gonna make it from scratch and here's the ingredients. I have two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of milk, one half cup of vegetable oil, this is two eggs that I've separated, the yolks and the whites. We have about a half a cup of chopped pecans, three tablespoons of sugar. This is a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. One tablespoon of baking powder and just a splash of vanilla. I'm gonna start by beating my egg whites in the soft peaks. I find if you fold these in at the end, it makes for a fluffier waffle. In this bowl, I'm gonna combine my wet ingredients. So the milk, egg yolk, vanilla, and the vegetable oil. I'll set that aside and we'll move on to our dry ingredients. Here, I'm gonna add my flour, baking powder, salt and cinnamon, sugar, now I'll add the wet mixture, we have this nice smooth batter. Now I'm going to fold in these egg whites. These are the chopped pecans. I'm not gonna add these yet because they're just gonna sink to the bottom. I'm gonna wait until we make our waffle. These are some organic free range chicken breasts that I soaked in buttermilk overnight. In the buttermilk, I seasoned with garlic powder, just a little salt, some smoked paprika, and a little cayenne pepper. This is my flour mixture from my dredge. I'm gonna season this. A little bit of smoked paprika, salt, pepper, garlic powder, a few shakes of cayenne pepper. All right, here's our dredging station. We're gonna take our chicken, we're gonna go flour, egg, flour, and into the hot oil. I have this really high-end maple syrup here. This bottle was about 18 bucks. Now you don't have to spend that much, but I will say if you spend just a couple bucks more, you'll definitely notice a difference in quality. I'm gonna warm this maple syrup just over low heat. I'm gonna melt about one tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We'll just keep that nice and warm until it's ready to serve. Here we have half a stick of soft butter. I'm gonna add a little honey to it. And just a tiny splash of vanilla extract. I'm 
And I'll stick that in the refrigerator and let it get nice and hardened. All right, so here's my little waffle maker. It's not an expensive one, it just does the trick. A little of my pecans. Beautiful. Now we're gonna make a couple more waffles, prepare our chicken, and we'll get this put on a plate. There it is, chicken and waffles, food lust style. So after the chicken came out of the fryer, I put it in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. I wanted to make sure that I was cooked to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Cheers. Wow, we've got a lot of flavors going on here. That moist and tender chicken with that crunchy coating on the outside. The waffles are nice and crispy and airy, and that maple syrup with that hint of cayenne, it just puts it over the top. It is amazing. And that's how that one goes.